Hello, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hi, Juan Carlos. Nice to see you. Anna, welcome back. We missed nice you yesterday. Hi, Wendy. Hello, Jonathan. Zaira. Hello, Hi. Maria Concepcion. Welcome, Carlos. Nice to see you. How was it? Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you doing, Maria Concepcion? ¿Qué tal va? Ahí vamos, teacher, queriendo ya estar bien de todo. Okay, yes. But nice to have you here. Nice to have you here. Hi, Arnoldo. Good evening. Hi, Jonathan. Good evening. Hello, yes, Carlos. I'm going to, to driving. Oh, you're driving. Okay. Let me know when you can participate. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. And what about you, Carlos? How was your day at work? Very busy, I imagine. <laughs> Very busy. All I the am, time. <laughs> I am travel the Santa Elena for for uh, capacitation or a training. Training. Mm -hmm. training. Correct. Ah, okay. I imagine that you have more things to do in this holiday season, right? For Christmas and for New Year's Eve. Me imagino que hay más trabajo sí. para esta temporada. There are more no, things no, no, to no, do. No, 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 no más trabajo, no. sino que, sino que el, el tráfico, el tráfico es el que termina abonando ahí para cansarlo ah, más aún. Yes, that's also true. I see, Carlos. Well, I hope you can rest tonight. Espero que la noche lo, le, le dé el recovery. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance, guys. Let's begin. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Brian Javier. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Antonio. Present. Elizabeth Martinez. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Okay. Jose Galileo. Jose Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan, that's fine. Ahí va. Present, Miss. Yes, Jonathan. Thank you. Hoy. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos. Present. Laura Carolina. Then Maria Concepcion. Present. Maria Elena. Mayra Moreno. Nelson Gabarrete. Omar Francisco. Oscar Villatoro. Zaira Marleni. Present. Okay, Oscar. And okay, Zaira. Wendy Maribel. Thank you. And Jenny Santos. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Okay, everyone. So this is what we are going to do first. I'm going to share the instruction with you on the whiteboard. You have to make a letter for a loved one, for a person you love, a family member, you know, a relative, a very close friend. It could be anybody that you love. And tell this person how your vacations in the beach are going. Okay, vamos a hacer una carta. Y esta carta va, va a ir para alguien que ama. Puede ser un familiar o un amigo cercano. Y le van a comentar cómo sus vacaciones, imaginary vacations, are going in the beach. This is the picture. <clears throat> you have to imagine that this is what you are looking at. Tienen que imaginar que están in that place. Okay? Use your imagination and go to the beach. You are in the beach making a letter. Están en, en la playa y están escribiéndole a su amigo. Okay? Tell that person how your vacation is going. Y le van a contar, no sé, cómo van, qué hacen. Whatever you want to. A letter. Do you understand? Do you have questions about the activity? Teacher, I'm here. Uh, 
Cuando está pasando el no estamos, pero aquí estoy. <laughs> ok, Lili. Thank you. Eh, questions about the activity? No? No questions? Understood? Eh, me entré ya lo último. Escuché, teacher. Lo primero no. Ah, ok, Lili. We have to make a letter. Tenemos que hacer una carta dirigida para alguien que usted quiere. Va a imaginar que está en la playa. Por eso les enseño aquí esta foto para que se visualicen en la playa y piensen que están ahí y le va a dirigir la carta a alguien para comentarle cómo su vacación en la playa está o, o está yendo. Ok, so that is what we will do. Ok, in 10 minutes. 10 minutes, guys. That will be the, the time. I'm going to share with you the stopwatch and the picture. And okay, so you can look at the time. Aquí les voy a dejar el stopwatch, el cronómetro. Sorry. <laughs> and the picture. There you have the picture too. Okay, in 10 minutes or less, we will read some letters. Y luego en 10 minutos, paramos o en menos, si terminan antes. If you need my help, let me know.
Sorry to interrupt. I'm just checking on you. Has anyone finished? Solo estoy chequeando. ¿Hay alguien que ya haya terminado? No. Please let me know. No. Let me know when you're done. Ya estoy aquí, Eli. Ok, Eli, welcome. Nice to have you. Nice to have you here. Ok, so time is about to finish. Carlos, do you want to read the letter? And then I'm, I'm going to help you in some parts. Please read your letter. Ok. My family and I visit the house the beach 
in Los Cobanos. Last week of the year, the house is beautiful. Are in from the sea. We can play beach soccer to make sand castles, to swimming in the pool, in May rose meat, milk. The old week, we are relaxed. Thank you, Carlos. It was very well. Uh, thank you for sharing the, the letter with us. Who was it for? Para quien era? Who was it for? Uh, for, for the friend. For one of your friends? Yes. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Just one question. In the last part, where you said all the week we relax, do you want to say like, toda la semana ha sido relajante? Or what do you mean in, in the last part, in the last sentence? Okay. Como, como quise colocar, teacher, last week of the year, la última semana del año. En la última Entonces, parte. Sería toda la semana. Es que ahí dice, toda la semana nos relajamos. Yes. Somos, somos. Pero es future tense, es present tense, o es past tense. Debería ser future. Future. Ah, yes. ok. Entonces ponga, the whole week is going to be. The whole week? Ajá. The whole week is going to be relaxing. Relaxing. It's going, it's going, going to, to be, be okay. relaxing. Thank you, Carlos, for sharing your letter. Wendy, can you continue? Can you read the letter you wrote? Okay. I'm not sure. Mm. The play have people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, uh, I am reading this letter, hoping you and your family, oh, their brother. It's for your I brother. Am ready, yes. Ah, I ah, am okay. reading. This letter, hoping you and your family mm -hmm. are well. Mm -hmm. and my vacation in the beach are beautiful. I have eaten, I have slept, I walk, walk in the in the cell. I took mm -hmm. pictures of the sunrise and the sunset. Wow, very detailed, Wendy. Bien des descrito, everything. So thank you. Thank you very much. And you use present perfect. He dormido, hecho esto, lo otro. So thank you. I like it. Beautiful. Okay, let's continue. Oscar, do you have your letter? Okay. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay, dear mom, I can speak it with fantastic vacation I had in the Peruaya Beach. It's a great place with more with more happy people and bigger coconut tree. The great is you can swing with the dolphin in the pool. Two, the food is very delicious. I enjoy every drink. I will take the other vacation in this place and you come with me. Okay, it looks excellent. Thank you, Oscar, for that letter. I liked it as well. Just one change. Use next, the next vacation or next week instead of other. En vez de poner other, vamos a poner next para decir otro. Thank you. Just that change. Okay, thank you. Now let's listen to Saira. Saira, can you read your letter, please? Okay. My friend, I want to know that you 
Okay. You're my best friend. I want to tell that I am the beach of vacation. Here is beautiful place. The weather is excellent. I think you can come with me another time. See you the next week. Mm, okay, thank you. So it was for your brother, right? Or did you say friend? My friend. My friend, mi, um, a mi amiga. It's for your friend. Uh -huh. Yes, Aida. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your letter. Rodrigo, could you do it? Do you have your letter, Rodrigo? Okay. Uh, my friend, Andres. I want to tell you that last weekend, I went to visit the beach of the Costa del Sol. Mm -hmm. It was a very hot afternoon and there was a beautiful sunset. The sky was very clear at night and quite starry. I invited you to visit the next, next time or country. You can also like this unforward travel experience. Uh -huh. Yes, very detailed too, bien detallado about the, the vacation you had. Y el past tense, ahí estaba. Was, right? Thank you, Rodrigo. I appreciate okay. it. Laura, can you continue? Okay. Teacher, al inicio no entendí. Era una carta uh -huh, invitando yes. a alguien ir a la playa. Sí, es que creo que se conectó luego, ¿verdad? Sí, Entonces, justo escuché sorry. lo último. Ajá. Este, bueno, pero inventé, digamos. Ajá. What, what did you okay. write down? Vamos a ver si es como entendí el final. Eh, dear Robert, I have free time. I enjoy going to the beach with you this weekend. I do not like going to the beach eh, when it is much people. I like going to eat seafood with you. With you, ¿verdad? I like to somebody. <laughs> ah, okay. Pero, Thank you. So it okay. was like an invite. Era como una invitation. Yes. In the form of an invitation. Okay, that uh, could work. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> we will listen to one, one more letter. Okay. Do you have your, your letter, Lily? Okay, teacher. <laughs> Hello there, friend Alma. I am great. I am wearing you this letter to break you and tell you a letter about how I am spend, spending my holidays. I will tell you that I am studying a, the Marisol Hotel in Las Tunas Beach. I am having a great time. I feel happy and relaxed. The, the attention is very good. Decent holidays, meals is a part of the company because it will be the the most with the big songs. Um, what is the last word, Lily? ¿Cuál era la última palabra? What is the last word you use? Y la última. Mm -hmm. En inglés se escribe como, creo que es SOLS, pero se escribe, bueno, se le escribe S-A-L-E-S. SOLS. Lleva E, lleva E, lleva E. SELS. Ah, sí. Yes. Ah, like, like ventas. Or... Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, Lily. 
thank you. Thank you for reading your beautiful letter as well. And the one you sent by chat, it's good too with past tense to change the verbs. People understand your message clearly. So Juan Carlos and Arnoldo, please send me a message. Send me a message and I'm going to read your letters in one moment, okay? Or take a picture, take a picture of your um, letter and send it to me and I will read it in, in one moment. But thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. I send I in, the, in the chat. Uh -huh. Send it to me by chat. Sorry, Lily. What? I'm sorry, Ellie. What Lily. did you say? Yo envié un, un párrafo, pero no sé cómo. Ya vine tarde, no sé si así es, pero solo era una invitación y no, no, no iban a enviar algo, o no sé, en pasado, en presente, en futuro, no sé. Uh, it, was a, algo, it was a letter algún... for a loved one. Estaban haciendo una carta para una persona querida y contándole cómo estaba su vacation en la playa. De eso era la, la letter. Ajá. Bueno. Eh, but I will read it. Yo la leo en un momento, Eli. But thank yes, you, thank you. Okay, so today we continue practicing would be better and would be good. We will continue with that. In this moment, we are going to read this conversation between Sara, well, among Sara, Walter, Sonia, and Rene. Okay, so it says, we need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, so now it's your turn. First, we will listen to, okay, Anna, you are Sara. Brian, you are Walter. Omar, you are Sonia. Okay, and then Jenny, you are Trené. Ready? Okay. Yes. Okay. We need to create the main step to include in the manual to train all the staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the manual. Cool. It be better if chapter one is about how service should be the customer and after that how to how they need to present the menu. Jenny, are you actually, there? yes, <laughs> actually, I will be better. If we include the service dress code in appearance in the first chapter. Okay, thank you guys. Good pronunciation. The one you see here, Jenny, is appearance. That's the way it sounds. Appearance. Anna, appearance. Anna, yes. Anna, Brian, you, can teacher. you repeat? Appearance. Mm -hmm. Appearance. Yes. Brian? Appearance. Appearance. And Omar, could you repeat, please? Appearance. 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 With C at the end, appearance. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue with, let me look at the list. Okay. Sara Galileo. Galileo, you are Sara. Eli. You are Walter. Mayra, are you there? Mayra? Yes, teacher. No. Ah, okay. Mayra, you are Sonia. Juan Carlos, you are Trené. Okay, ready, Galileo? 
Ready. Okay. We need we need to create the main steps to including the manual to train our staff. What do you what do you propose? First, we need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chat charter? One is about how servers show great the customer and after that how they need to present the menu. Are you there, Juan Carlos? Actually, it will be better if we include the service dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Correct. Right. Uh -huh. Thank you, guys. Now, just this one. It is present. That is the, the correct pronunciation. Present. Present is like present tense. The same spelling, but is the is a different pronunciation. And that one is present. Okay, so just that change. But thank you, it was very well. Okay, let's continue. Okay, Nelson, you are Sarah Nelson. Okay, Wendy, Walter, Zaira, Sonia, Lily, Rene. Sorry, Anna, you are, okay. I think I got confused. Uh, Anna, you already participated, right? So one okay. change. Okay, Nelson, go ahead. Okay, uh, we need to create to create the main step to include in the manual to train or start. What do you propose? First, service need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how server should greet the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the service dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Chapter. Okay, thank you. Okay, the one here is create. Create. Can you repeat create. again? Uh -huh. Create. Yes. Create. 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 Wendy, could you repeat, please? First, service servers. Just need this part. To know. Sorry? Just the part that you see in blue. Ah. Create. Uh -huh. All right. Now include. Would you repeat, please? Include. Include. Mm -hmm. include. 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 Okay. Yes, that's the pronunciation. Let's continue. Okay. Carlos, you are Sara. Arnoldo, you are Walter. And then Rodrigo, Sonia, and Laura, Rene. We need to, to cre create, perdón, create. ¿cómo es la create? Uh -huh. We need to create the menu step to include in the manual to try all the stuff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how service should grade the customer and after that how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server dress call and appear appear appearance appearance in first, appearing in the first chapter thank you okay let me help you appearance 
appearance. 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 Solo suena a como P. No P. Pie. No. Appearance. 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 El final es rents. Appearance. 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 Yes. Appearance. Uh -huh. Okay. And the other one, I just lost the other one. Ah, okay. Just the intonation, Arnoldo. Present. Will you repeat? Present. Present. Uh huh. Present. Laura? Present. Uh huh. Present. 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 Uh -huh. Es que en inglés Present. es como que también lleven un acento las palabras a veces, pero no tienen esa marca del acento como lo tienen en okay. Spanish. Ok, thank you. Now let's okay. continue. Omar, you are Sara. And then Oscar, Walter. Am I missing someone? Is there someone who hasn't read? ¿Hay alguien que no haya leído yet? Because I know, I know Maria Concepcion is not available and Jonathan is not. No se me queda nadie aparte de Oscar. And no. Okay, so we will repeat. Oscar, okay, Oscar, you are Sara. Omar, Walter. Nelson, Sonia. And then Lily, René. Cámbienme lo teacher, porque se leía anterior. Which one did you read? Lily, leyó René. Sí. Okay. Cámbienme al otro, al otro párrafo. Which Can one? Can we read Ajá. Sonia. Ok, let's switch. Ok. Ok. We need to create the main step to include in the manual to train or stop. What do you propose? First, server need to know the correct way to present the menu. Lily, the microphone. Sorry. Would it be better if chapter one is about how service should grade the customer and after that, that how they need to present the menu. Nelson, can you? Ah, okay, it was a renewal, pardon, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Sorry, <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, actually, in the world, be better is we include the server dress code and appearance in the first charter. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay, I'm going to help you with the ones you see here. Okay, so number one, chapter. Would you repeat? Chapter. 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 Uh -huh. Chapter. Chapter. Okay, code. Ah, uh, code. 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 Appearance. 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 Code appearance. Uh, appearance. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Do you have questions about the vocabulary, new vocabulary in this conversation? Uh, uh, chapter. 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 Chapter is like capítulo. Ah. Uh -huh. sí, like capítulo. For books, we use, uh -huh, we use chapters. Mm -hmm. Chapter And one. Appearance. Appearance, the way something looks, la apariencia de algo, la manera en la que algo es. Appearance, yes. Is there okay. anything else that you may need? More questions? Oscar, do you need help? Carlos, Wendy, Ana? Uh, staff? Staff? Or staff? 
is the the personnel, the people, the employees in the company. Mm. Es el personal de trabajo, Nelson. The people in the company. Oh, okay. The personnel. Okay. So if you don't have more questions, in this moment, we will have a little review about the class we studied yesterday. Vamos a hacer un pequeño review about how to use would be better. First of all, do you have questions about yesterday's class? ¿Hay algún punto que haya quedado como, I don't know, difficult para empezar with the review? Something that you found difficult to understand yesterday? No? Okay, so let's practice. Let's practice a little bit. Would be good. Would be good to, and then an infinitive, right? Plus a verb. And option number two would be better to. Okay, so. Question, Wendy, when do we use would be good to? Do you remember, Wendy? When do we use would be good to? Would be good? Mm -hmm. When do we use it? Cuando lo utilizamos, el would be good? Cuando vamos a dar una sugerencia. Ajá, uh -huh. to give the, the first. Right, the first recommendation. Aha, uh -huh. to give the first idea we use would be good. Correct. And would be better, Saira? When do we use would be better? Eh, era para... It's okay. Lily and you, do you remember? Would be better too. Cuando la primera sugerencia iba a ser mejorada. Aha. Yeah, that's a simple way to put it. Thank you, Lily. Okay, so we have, we use would be good and would be better too to give suggestions, right? Las dos las utilizamos para dar una sugerencia. Pero would be better sería cuando queremos, like Lily mentioned, como mencionó Lily, mejorar, ¿verdad? Algo. Y eso es lo que vamos a practicar. I'm going to give you a problem and you give me two recommendations. Ustedes me van a dar primero una con would be good y alguien la va a mejorar or improve. Somebody's going to improve it. Ok, problem number one. I am fat. I'm fat. That is the problem. I need recommendations to lose weight. Okay, Galileo, the first recommendation. Luego alguien va a mejorar la recommendation. Please create one recommendation, Galileo, with it would be good. Yo voy a agregar el it acá. It okay. would be good. What can I do, Galileo? I'm fat. That's my problem. What do you it's suggest? It's my problem. <laughs> it's my real problem. <laughs> Here we, we will uh, have recommendations. Okay, it will it will be good to eat mm -hmm. healthy. Thank you. Okay, so this is his uh, suggestion or his idea. It would be good. To, y recordemos que vamos a poner el verb en base form, como mencionó Galileo. To eat healthy, right? Eso me dijo Galileo. Or right. not. Okay, thank you. Now we need a better idea. Hoy necesitamos mejorarla. We need a better idea. Thank you, Galileo. Okay, what is your idea, Laura? A better idea. Better than this. Using it would be better. 
It would be better to mm -hmm. to go to the nutri nutritionist. Nutritionist. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay. ¿Qué verbo oh. utilizaríamos, Laura? It would be better to go better, porque la vamos a mostrar. Oh. It would be better to go to y el verbo to go to go. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah. Mm. Nutricionista. Nutrición. Ajá. I'm going to oh. put it. Here. Okay, no, nutrition. Let me hold on. I'm missing something here. I'm going to double check. Uh, nutri. Okay, here. No, hold on. Three. Okay, there it is. Thank you, Laura. Okay, now problem number two. I have a headache. Okay, I had a headache. Pain. Yes? Yes, Brian? Eh, ¿por qué no es, ¿Por qué aquí no es it will be better to go in? ¿Por qué es go, no es going? Porque usamos el infinitive form. Y el infinitive es la forma base del verbo, Brian. Entonces no le ponemos ing, solo el verbo en su forma base. Go. Okay, so this is the problem number two. Arnoldo, what is your suggestion? It would be good. It would be good to take a pill. Thank you, that is a good solution. Okay, it would be, y recuerden que esto es como que una phrase que vamos a poner. It would be... Good to, y aquí es el verb, take a pill. Thank you, Arnoldo. Okay, now Mayra, can you better eat? A better idea, Mayra, for this problem? Are you there, Mayra? Or you, Jenny, do you have a, an idea? Oh, okay. Jenny or Mayra, I do. Ahí al chat se la voy a enviar. Ok, en Jenny, what do you think? It would be better to visit a doctor. Mm, ok, that could be a better idea. Thank you, so we will change it. Do you have a question? Do you have a question in this moment for me? It would be better to visit the doctor. Ana, you were not here yesterday. Do you understand? Ana, ayer no estuvo acá. No sé si va agarrando la idea de it would be good, it would be better. Yes, teacher. You are. Okay. Ya vamos a hacer un exercise to, to practice. Okay. Y vimos también it would be good if vamos con la, the next option. It would be good If, and now we need a sentence, right? That means a subject, a verb, and the complement is optional. The complement is optional. This is option one, and here we have option two. It would be better. It would be better. Ok, acá es si ustedes quieren poner la oración completa y no solo el verbo. For example, the problem, let me see. Ok. Ah, ok. I feel sad because my boyfriend broke up with me. Okay, I love problem. I need suggestions, okay, to feel better. Okay, so Carlos, let's begin with you. Please give me a, a good idea because I am sad. 
what could be an idea. And you're going to use this, this formula, Carlos, if. If would to be good if mm -hmm. um, seeing another situation or something. Uh -huh. that, could be, well, that could be one idea. And now I want to give you more information. Y les quería dar un poquito más de info sobre esta opción. Yesterday, ayer les mencioné de que vamos a hacer una situ situación hipotética, hypothetical situation, y vamos a usar past tense, but if it's real, ¿verdad? Si puede ser algo real, pueden utilizar present tense. Ok, pueden utilizar present tense. Ok, Carlos me dijo que mejor pienso en otra cosa, right? Ok, so vamos a poner eso. It would be good. Y aquí si ponemos if, if. vamos a poner una sentence. So I need, a, I need the subject. If you think about something else. Ok, entonces no lo puse en past tense, lo pongo en present tense, the verb. Pero aquí está la sentence. Hay un subject y hay un verb. Que ya no va solo el verb, como acá, con to, sino que ahora va el subject and verb. Thank you, Carlos. Ok, now I need a better solution. Juan Carlos, a better idea? It will be better if you uh, stay with us. <laughs> Stay with us. Okay, okay, that could be one. Um, other possibilities, Oscar? A better idea? It would be better if? It would be better if you go to the party to celebrate. Ah, okay, yeah. uh, okay, that's a good because idea. Uh -huh. This is like, you can put it like that, if you party or if you go to parties. Okay, that's a, a, another solution. Okay, last problem. Last problem, I'm going to put it here. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I'm going to change the person. My dad is bored, aburrido, bored. I need recommendations because my dad is bored. Okay, recommendations, Brian. It would be good. Um, it will be better. Vamos a empezar con it would be good porque todavía no hay otra recommendation. Okay. It will be good if mm -hmm. we go sinner. Not the sinner. Okay, pero no soy yo. No soy yo. It's my dad. ¿Qué tendría que hacer ahí para que indicara que es it's my dad, not me? Mm. It would be good. Porque si yo sí. pongo if you, it's me. Pero no soy yo. I'm not the one who is bored. Mm. ¿Y si es we? We, pero no somos todos. No. Para, para that, you can use this subject. If he. Mm. It would be good if he. Um, if he was the movie. Watches, Ajá, vamos a poner watches porque es una singular noun. Ajá, watches a movie. Thank you. Who has other ideas? A volunteer? Using it would be good or it would be better? More ideas? My dad is bored. Wendy? Mm -hmm. It would be good. It would be good. Mm -hmm. No, it would be better if 
She goes to the beach. Goes to the beach. Goes to the beach. Pero me acaba de decir que la, la playa es aburrida, Wendy. <laughs> que no había que poner que fuera así divertido. Por eso okay. No se aburrido. ok, it would be better if he goes to the beach. <clears throat> okay, so that's the way it goes. Okay, Teacher. now, yes, Arnoldo. It's correct if I say it would be good if you prepare a party for him. Yes, it is correct, Arnoldo. Uh -huh. If you prepare a party for him. Thank you, Arnoldo. Okay, and the last one. El último que tenemos es el de wouldn't, right? No sé si, si lo recuerdan. Wouldn't es siempre para una, para una sugerencia, pero en forma de pregunta, no como una afirmación. Y esa es como la frase, right? Wouldn't it be better? Y aquí pues tienen two options. You have two options. Pueden utilizar to or if. Wouldn't it be better to go to the beach? It's the same, so look, let's estoy dando other options. You have other options. Or wouldn't it be better if he goes to the beach? Okay, it's the same. Okay, it's the same, but with other options. Solo con two, que era el del infinitive, to go or if he goes to the beach. And you can do the same with, with would be. Y también lo pueden hacer con would be, like this. It would be good if he watches a movie. Wouldn't it be good if he watches a movie? Option number two. Wouldn't it be good to watch a movie? Okay, the same, but in the form of a question. Okay, one option, option two, option three. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to give you a problem and you think about recommendations. Les voy a dar unas situaciones, problemas. You can use the chat or you can use your voice. Pueden ustedes darme different solutions. I'm going to take the attendance first. I'm going to take the attendance and then we, we continue. Teacher. Yes, when? Eh, la traducción de would, would, ¿cómo es? Wouldn't. No, no, no Wouldn't. Gurent, la traducción entonces de Gurent, ¿cómo, ¿cómo sería? O sea, en las preguntas no, no me queda muy claro. Como no sería bueno. No sería bueno. Ah, ok. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Ok, so the attendance. Ana Beatriz. Present. And Ana Lilian. Present. Brian Javier. Present. Carlos Antonio. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Jose Arnoldo. I'm here, miss. Jose Galileo. Present, ma'am. Jose Jonathan. Present. Jose Rodrigo. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos. Present. Laura Carolina. Present. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Mayra Present. Moreno. Ok, thank you. Present. Nelson Gavarrete. Giro. Omar Francisco. Present. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Zaira Marleni. Present. Wendy Maribel. Y Jenny Zuleima. 
present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, you can use any of the options you have checked. Pueden utilizar en uh, cualquiera de las, de las fórmulas o estructuras que hemos visto. Okay, this is the problem in one minute. Okay, vamos a usar the stopwatch for the problems. One moment. Okay, problem number one. It's very hot. It's very hot today. I'm hot. Tengo calor. I'm hot. Please give me one recommendation. You can use the chat or WhatsApp. One minute. Thank you, Galileo, correct. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jenny. Good structure. Excellent Coke. Yes, Brian, that is what everyone wants in, in hot days. Yes, the shower, Juan Carlos. Drink soda. Uh-huh. Refresh very cold. It would be better to take a bath. Time is up, guys. Please send your ideas. And perfect structures. Están excelentes las estructuras. Yes, Aida? En el, en el grupo de, de chat, de WhatsApp. Ah, no, no, WhatsApp. Yeah. Ah, okay, no puedo sorry. escribir ahí en, la, en, en, el, <laughs> en el chat. De ah, hecho. OK. Se me pasó. OK. La uh -huh. Take a shower. OK, thank you. Next one, my baby cries all the time. My baby cries, cries all the time. One minute for recommendations. My baby cries all the time. <laughs> Siberia, Elena. <laughs> Okay, thank you. All right, Galileo, thank you. Okay, Oscar, that's another option to play with him. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Wouldn't it, Arnoldo, wouldn't it be better? Thank you. It would be good. Time is up. Please send your ideas. Send your ideas and excellent. Just that change, Arnoldo, wouldn't it? Only that change. And a question mark. Y, y ponemos un signo de interrogación at the end. Okay, next. Problem number three. Teacher, mm -hmm. teacher, no estaba tratando de hacerlo como pregunta. Uh, and what do you want to say? It wouldn't be better if you visit the doctor for us if the baby is sick. O sea, es como entonces, una sugerencia. Entonces, sin el wouldn't, it would be. It would be. Oh, okay. So uh -huh. it changed the wooden. Yes, uh -huh. okay, okay. Just Thanks. for wood. Mm -hmm. Okay, number three. It is too cold. The opposite of hot. It's too cold. It is too cold. Está muy frío. It is too cold. Thank you, Anna. It is correct. Lily, it would be good to, to look for the toy. Solo hay que agregarle el to, Lily, ahí. Laura, correct, it would be good if you play with him. Try sleeping, thank you, Brian. Okay, yes, Juan Carlos, correct. To Galileo, where? 
Es mejor si usamos el verbo wear. To wear a sweater. Y sweater would be like, like that. Then Jenny, it would be good to drink coffee. Uh -huh. uh, wouldn't it be good uh -huh. to drink hot coffee? Yes, or hot chocolate, right? That's another possibility. Elena, thank you, chocolate, hot chocolate. Le vamos a agregar el hot, porque no sé si es la bebida, Elena. Si es la bebida, hot chocolate. Si no, si es el, el otro, yes. Okay, thank you. Well, you did very well. You did very, very well. Thank you. So let's, let's continue. Okay, do you have questions for me before I go on? Questions? No. Okay, so we continue with the next activity in the book. Yes, yes, Elena, hat, H-O-O-T. Okay, in the book, we have, one moment. Um, okay, here, page 21, we have different terms that we use in a manual. Tenemos diferentes términos de diferentes procedimientos en un manual para restaurante. Okay, we have setting a table, decanting wine, requesting a shift change, following the schedule, addressing kitchen personnel, getting to know the menu, dress code, addressing customers, about tips and taxes, prevention of accidents and safety. Okay, there are different, different contents in this manual. What do you have to do? You have to look for the definitions of these terms. Vamos a trabajar en grupos y van a buscar la definición de estos contenidos o de estos términos. And later, when you come back, you are going to explain two of them. Y cuando regresen, van a explicar dos de ellos for the class. For example, something simple. Es algo sen sencillo, simple. Ok, dress code. Van a investigar qué es, o si ya saben, even better. Y van a explicarle a sus classmates qué es el dress code. Um, y como es un manual, right? Pueden decirlo así. This, this, um, this is content, content about the way employees, employees have to um, no, this is content about the way employees have to dress. Okay, dress code. Entonces, ese es contenido para la manera, ¿verdad? En la que ellos se tienen que, que vestir o qué tipo de ropa tienen que utilizar. Ok, una pequeña explicación, simple explanation, but it's not for all of them. Les voy a dar solo como dos o tres términos por grupo para que expliquen. Do you understand so far? No sé si me van entendiendo lo que vamos a hacer o not yet. Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes, ma. Ok, so let me, yes, Lily. Eh, eh, pero buscaría. I don't hear you, Lily. No se le escucha. I don't hear you, Lily, but in the, in the chat, send me your comment. Okay, just take notes. Les voy a decir cuáles van a ser sus, las, la, los contenidos que tendrían que explicar, qué significan. Arnoldo, Galileo, Rodrigo, and Nelson. Number one, 
two, and three. Okay. Van a explicar estos para la clase, pero sí es de buscarlos todos, de tratar de, de entender todos los terms. Ok, so again, Arnoldo, Galileo, Rodrigo, Nelson. Setting a table, decanting wine, requesting a shift change. Then, um, hold on. Ok, Rodrigo, I'm going to move you to room number two. Rodrigo, lo voy a cambiar de grupo. So, Rodrigo, you're okay. in group two. Va a estar en el grupo dos. With Omar okay. and Wendy. And for you is going to be the next three. Para este grupo, group number two, van a enfocarse en following the schedule, addressing kitchen personnel, and getting to know the menu. Okay, Ana, Ana Beatriz, Laura, Carolina, and Mayra. Okay, the next two. Dress code and addressing customers. Okay, Ana Beatriz, Laura y Mayra. Dress code and addressing customers. Jonathan and Zaira about tips and taxes and prevention for accidents and safety. Jonathan and Zaira. And then Juan Carlos, Elena, and Oscar. The ones here, the canteen wine and addressing kitchen personnel. Para el último team, the canteen wine and addressing kitchen personnel. Okay. Los que les mencioné son los que van a explicar. Those are the ones you're going to explain, but look for all the terms if possible. Okay, if you don't have questions, please open the room. Brian, Carlos, Jenny, no les di su topic, ¿verdad? No les di oh, sí. No, teacher. Ah, okay. ok, sorry, ahorita les digo. No se vayan todavía. Ok, so, esto sería para Brian, Carlos, and Jenny. Vamos a hacerlo con addressing customers. Ok, this is number one. About tips and taxes in setting a table. Teacher. Yes, Brian? In the manual, which is the page? Um, 21, I think, let me see. 21. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so you can accept the invite and then we will return. Laura, le cayó el invite, Laura? Yes, okay, Lily. No, no sé cuál me toca porque tuvo problemas con la conexión y me salí. Okay, Lily, give me one moment. Lily, la voy a enviar con su, con su grupo. Y aquí le voy a explicar cuáles le tocan. Yes, Carlos, do you have a comment? Sí, yo, yo le di cancelar, teacher, porque creí que el grupo 4 ah. no era el mío, perdón. Ah, ok, le voy a enviar dos. Esta es la primera y luego le mando la correcta. ¿Acepto la, el, el run 2? Sí, es que no lo puedo enviar ya al 4. Tengo que... Ah, ok. Ok, Lily, give me one moment. La voy a enviar con Juan Carlos, Elena y Oscar. Y en ese grupo le van a explicar cuáles son los que ellos van a buscar. Y esos mismos van a ser para, para usted. Ok, please accept the invite. Yeah. I like Hi, it. Teacher. 
Hello. Oui. Nelson, oh, hello. Nelson is in, in another group. He has two devices. Tenía dos y no era el de acá. Así que se, it's going to be just both of you in this, in this group or not group anymore, but team. Uh, uh, do you, 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 add, you add? He, he add to this group? But he had two devices. One of the devices was in this group and the other one was with Juan Carlos. So that is the device that he is using. So he went to the okay. other team. But I'm going to I'm going to let him continue working there. Okay. Okay. Any how are you? How are you doing? Do you have questions about the activity? Uh, no, we nope. we are going to making a presentation in PowerPoint. Ah, uh, okay. Just one one comment, Galileo. Try to make it very very simple. Like try to use the most simple words in in short, but but clear, because this yeah. is the first part of the activity. We have three parts, and this is just the beginning. So it's gonna be very little time for you to work. The purpose, on the purpose okay. of the activity is that the other uh, the other companion learn and understand the the, the the concept no right now that is the purpose yes that you understand what each concept means and that you only explain two of them for the class but try to okay. look for all of them okay so we i'm got... going to let you continue and Don't if worry, you finish happy. let me know <laughs> hakuna matata right Okay, see you. Hello. Hello. Do you need help? Um, teacher. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. How can I help you? It's a paragraph. No, no, just a little explanation in simple words. Mm -hmm. Okay, like oh. dress code. Uh, dress code is the way you have to dress the In, instructions something uh -huh. simple and clear addressing customer teacher es como abordar al cliente como abordar al cliente ajá uh -huh. correct okay. entonces eso es lo que hay que explicar en palabras simples porque okay. todos van a buscar todas las las los términos right pero Cada quien va a explicar solo dos, por si acaso no se entendió alguno. Pero esta es solo la primera parte de la activity, así que vamos a hacerlo corto, breve. So, do you, do you need more help? Other questions? Carlos, no. Brian, no. Si, si lo quieren escribir para que también lo lean, you can do it. Pero algo short. Okay, no es como una long presentation about that. No, just the definition, simple definition. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to go. See you in one moment. Thank you. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Teacher, está siguiendo el horario. Eh, Será que, bueno, mis compañeros estaban diciendo que era como, como los turnos. A eso mm -hmm. se refiere. Example, Miss. Do a good, uh, effort. O, o es como el horario del trabajo, digamos, como respetar los horarios de trabajo. What have you found? ¿Qué basado en la información que han leído? ¿Cómo lo entienden más? ¿Cuál información? <risas> eh, no sé, no sé si lo han buscado en Google. Solo buscamos en el Google, pero solo dice siguiendo mm -hmm. el horario. Yo lo entiendo que es como tener un horario establecido. Uno de entrada y salida, algo así. Pero mis compañeros okay. lo entienden que es un turno. Okay. Uh, yes, Omar. 
Okay, uh, my example. Mm -hmm. Do a good and uh, effective management of the restaurant uh, staff chief should do should that everything work? One more time, please. Eh, lo que queremos o lo que se quiere decir es que el, para que sea eficiente el, 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 el restaurante es como hacer una buena y efectiva gestión de los turnos del personal para que todo funcione. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yes. Ajá. That is like what they have to do. So it's everything related to schedule. Es lo que tiene que ver con horarios. Información sobre horarios. Ajá, y lo que mencionaba ahí. Entonces, tienen que tratar de explicarlo con palabras simples, ¿verdad? Y que sus classmates, pues, traten de entender o entiendan. They understand the point. In simple words. Lo más simple que se pueda. Okay. Eh, other questions? No? You, Rodrigo? No, only, only questions. Okay. Okay, so I'm Thank going you. to let you continue. I'll see you in okay. one moment. Okay, okay. bye. Mm. Hello. How are Hello. you doing? Have you seen? Uh, no means uh, finish the first item, the first ah. concept. Number one. Ah, okay, Jonathan. Jonathan, I wanted to know if you were um, going Saira, to... Saira, Saira, Saira. Sorry? I wanted to know if Sorry. you were going to stay with me, the private session, because it is your turn, but I don't know if you can make it tonight or not. Quería saber si se iba a poder quedar ahora en la sesión, ya que le tocaba hace como dos días, creo. Pero seguí, ¿verdad? Con la lista. Entonces, no sé si va a poder ahora tomar su, su turno, Jonathan. ¿O qué opina? Sí, está bien. Ok, ok, good. And sorry, what is your question, Jonathan? Ah, Zaira estuvo que creo que salió, porque creo que el papá le acaban de tomar que lo han ingresado en el hospital. Ay, ok. Ok, entonces ahorita ya no va a estar acá, Zaira. Hello, eh, Zaira. ¿Cómo no, teacher? Ya, ya estuvo, teacher, ya estuvo ya mi informe. Ya está bien. No, porque si sí, no todo bien, todo cosa. bien. Ok. No, 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 right. todo está bien, teacher, gracias. Ok, Zaira. Entonces, ahorita van terminando number one, right? Uh, just one, one, one comment. Yeah. Traten de, de que sea lo más simple y claro posible, ¿ok? Un pequeño comment, ¿verdad? No es una big presentation. Just try to make it simple. Ok. Uh -huh. A little explanation. Ok. Uh, do you have questions before I leave? Questions for me? No. No. Okay. Well, no. see you in one moment. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are Hello, you doing? Teacher. You are missing. Ah, okay. Good. Ya terminaron prácticamente. Solo eh, están como. Sí. sí. Estamos buscando los otros, teacher. Las otras palabras. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ok, probablemente quizás no vamos a, a lograr eh, llegar para que las hagan todas, pero si ya tienen las dos de ustedes, pues ya con eso ya es más que suficiente. Sí. But yes, continue. Uh, solo un, un change. Ahí con group hay que agregarle la O. Se escribe así. Ah. Group. Ahí lo mandé en el chat. Ok. Teacher, group. mire una pregunta. Uh -huh. Estábamos buscando los significados de las otras, pa. Y la segunda es decating uh, wine. Es como, de, como así cuando descorchan, algo así, lo de los vinos, o como así. ¿Qué significa? Ajá. When you transfer the liquid to the bottle, 
Like this is the wine and you put it on different bottles. That's decanting. Decanting sí, wine. Sí, I había que investigar uh -huh, para ver qué era. Exactly. Okay. Well, I'm going to visit two more rooms. Solo voy a visitar dos grupos más y ya los voy a, a regresar al otro room. Okay. Okay. So, all right. See you. Cuando el personal quiere, quiere. Hello. The personal. Sorry to interrupt. How are you doing? Do you need help? Or no? Yeah. Armando. <laughs> and you finished yours. Ya terminaron las de ustedes. Yes. yes. Ah, okay. Excellent. Okay, creo que in about one minute vamos a regresar. One or two minutes. Si no han encontrado las demás, sus classmates. Your classmates are going to explain. Ahí ellos van a terminar de explicar. Okay, okay. so I'm going to to close the rooms, you still have one, one minute. Okay, see you. Okay, welcome back. In this moment, we are going to listen to your definitions. If you have questions, if you don't understand a term or a concept, let us know. Okay, number one, two, and three. We have Jose Arnoldo and Galileo. Can you please explain the, the terms? Arnoldo and Galileo. Yes, ma'am, may, yes. may I share my screen? Okay. We have just only, we have just only two concepts. So, uh, setting a table, uh, the way to wait or set on the table, the fork, knife, spoon, and napkin beside the plate. Mm -hmm. The canting wine. The canting wine means slowly putting the wine from its bottle into a different container. Excellent. Aha, uh -huh. simple and um, clear and the picture. Right? Sorry. Yeah. Um, requ request a schedule change. Determine exactly what you're requesting. Number two, understand what kind of request is appropriate or realistic of your company. Schedule a meeting with your manager. State your case. Set clear expectation. If approved, transition as professionally as possible. It's so long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Arnoldo and, and Galileo. But yes, it was clear and, and simple and the picture helped. Okay, let's go on. Rodrigo, Omar, and Wendy. Can you explain your terms? To explain. Uh, following the schedule, the hours, the star, and M M. <laughs> of each employee's work. And addressing kitchen personnel, tell the kitchen staff the steps to make each meal. One more time, please. Tell the kitchen staff mm -hmm. the steps to make each meal. Yes, yes, that would be a good, um, a good concept. Getting to know the menu. Mm -hmm. 
um, no, the meals or list of meals in uh -huh. the restaurant. Correct. Thank you. Do you understand the terms? Term following the schedule, guys, in the other groups? Addressing kitchen personnel, do you understand this concept? Galileo, you said yes. Okay, Carlos, do you understand the concept? Entendemos este concept, addressing kitchen personnel? It's similar to the one you have, Carlos, addressing customers, it's, it's kind of similar. Okay, no, no questions. No, verdad, Jenny, that's the other one. No recuerdo bien si les quedó addressing kitchen personnel o si era addressing customers, the one you had. Addressing customer. customer. Ah, customers, right. Ah, okay. So can you guys continue, please? Jenny, Carlos, and Brian with the terms that you have. Only two, teacher. Mm -hmm. Hay una no la, no la terminamos. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, All right. Are you going to share the screen, Jenny? Yes. Ah, okay. Sitting at a table. It is a place, uh, the table, for example, folks are pleasant. For our pleasant to the left of the plate, skiff and snoop to the right. About tips and taxes, it is usually used in the restaurants as a reward to good customer service. The taxes is aptly to payment. It is Defined by the government. I'm sorry. Only, only put here. Uh, Carlos, can you put the other slide, the one about tips and taxes, to read it? Jenny, coloque for, la segunda uh, presentación, por favor. La segunda slide. ¿Está? Mm, okay, seguimos viendo, well, seguimos viendo uh -huh. la primera. Uh, about tips and taxes. Okay, maybe it's a stock then, quizás se trabó entonces, because it doesn't change. But, okay, Jenny, thank you. And thank you, Carlos. Eh, solo, Carlos sería place the table, uh -huh, the way you order, right? Or organize the table. Yes, knives, knives, spoons. That is the, the pronunciation, knives and spoons. Okay. Thank you for the info. Anna, Laura, and Mayra, can you continue, please? Yes, teacher, ahorita. Under three, group three, Laura Carolina, Mayla Moreno, and Luis Campos. Address code. Address code is a set of rules of the rights with regard to what's clothing group on the people must wear dress codes. Uh, Laura. I create all of social perception and norms and very vastly on poor sports, circumstance and occasion. Mayra. Okay. Bueno, see, so I dress in customer, uh, customer needs refer to the one in Desiree of people who buy from your or your competi competitor. I identify identifying this 
need indicate to success and as, as a business. When you understand exactly where your customer priorities lie, you can adjust your business and products to accommodate them. Okay, thank you, Anna, Mayra, and Laura. Okay, so Laura, what do you understand with addressing customers? What do you understand it means? ¿Qué es lo que usted comprendió? ¿Qué es addressing a, a customer? Addressing a customer is the attention the clients eh, eh, and satisfaction the need the need to clients. Um, so when only. you speak with the customer <laughs> to to give a good service to make sure the customer is satisfied, right? Um, okay. No, like. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Next group, group number five: Jonathan, Nelson, and Zaira. Okay. Uh, about tips and taxes. Tips are, are an economic reward, usually voluntary, granted for good service in restaurant. Uh, next, um, um, taxes are mandatory and paid to the government uh, to cover public expenses. Hello. Uh, uh, la otra era uh, prevention of accident, accident and safari. Uh, It is, it is important is that the companies and here are bigger as time a personal. Okay, thank you, Nelson, for the information about prevention of accidents and safety. Hi, and, and tips and taxes, Jonathan. Okay, do you want to add anything else? No sé si querían agregar algo más. No. Teacher, yes, Saira. Uh -huh. I understand it is about giving surface to employees to avoid accident. Uh -huh. It's about that instruction, right? To avoid okay. accidents, to have a secure area, to have a secure place. No accidents in the companies. Yes, Aira. Yes. It's Thank simple you. and clear. Thank you. Okay, Lily, Juan Carlos, Elena, and Oscar, can you continue, please? They are the last group. The canting wine means slowly pouring the wine from its bottle into a different container. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, uh, is the other Oscar? Uh, see, uh, addressing chicken personnel is when the boss talk to the chicken staff in a meeting. Kitchen, uh -huh. the kitchen staff. Thank you, Oscar. Yes, that could be a, a good um, definition. Okay. Excuse me. The canting mm -hmm. wine, maybe when the waiter serves the, the wine? Uh huh. Or when, when there is a person and the person transferred the wine of the bottle to different bottles. That is called the canting wine. Correct. Okay. So let's, let's continue. Do you have questions? Are there concepts you didn't understand? No sé si hay algún concepto que, que no hayan entendido bien, que haya quedado not clear. No? We're fine. 
Okay, I'm going to share with you some vocabulary about different different positions in restaurants, okay? I'm going to share with you some positions and occupations that we have in the restaurant industry. Y les voy a dar un poquito de vocabulario sobre algunas positions or, or profesiones que encontramos en un restaurant. Okay, cashier. If you don't, if you don't know it, let me know. So we have the cashier. This is another possibility. One more. I'm going to change the color. Dish washer. That is the name that the person that washes the dishes receives. They are called dish washers. For coffee, this is the name in English and in Spanish, barista. The same. Okay, that is called barista. That's another position. We also have bartenders, right? This is another position inside the restaurant industry, bartenders. Okay, host or hostess. Are you familiar with host or hostess? This is the person, the person that welcomes you to the restaurant. Okay, the person that welcomes you in the restaurant. Host is the term for men, only men, and women, for women, hostess. Okay, this is the term for women, only women, like waiter and waitress, right? Waiter is for men, and waitress is the same, but it's for women, right? So the same hostess and host. Do you understand? No sé si quedó claro, host and hostess with the English version. Yes? Okay, good. Another one, another, another uh, occupation. Server, this is another one, server. This is the person that serves different, different um, beverage or drinks. And the last one, this is another one, cook and chef, okay? Cook and chef. Okay, so there you have some restaurant positions. Do you have questions about this? These are the most common ones. Estas son como las más comunes. No sé si hay alguna que no esté eh, entendible. La diferencia entre cook y chef, teacher. Cook es, es un cocinero, alguien que cocina, pero el chef como alguien que ya recibió más, como más, no sé, entrenamiento. Puede ser alguien ya con su título. Uh -huh. Puede yes, ser también el chef. No, yes, the the ah, and create sometimes the recipes, right? Y también creo que crea a veces. Cook just, just only make, uh, make the, the food. The uh -huh. Ah, ok. Yeah. Thank you, Galileo, for the clarification. Mm -hmm. Jonathan. ¿Puede repetir la diferencia entre server and waiter? Server is the person that serves drinks or uh -huh, they usually serve, serve drinks. And waiter and waitress, they can help you in different ways. They give the food, they clean the tables, they do more other things. Okay. In, uh -huh. in bartender teachers. But bartender that is the one in the bar, and that's the one who creates different drinks, alcoholic drinks and non-alcoholic drinks. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Barista, if you love coffee, you know that he or is the one who makes coffee drinks. Okay, 
Next activity. This is the, the last one. First of all, please create an index. Are you familiar with the word index? No sé si están familiarizados con lo que es un index. En caso no, en el caso sea no, un index es como ordenar, ordenar el manual. Puede ser de manera alfabética, ok, an alphabetical order, or podría ser tomando otras cosas en, en, en consideración. You have to create the index, como ustedes lo ameriten. Part number one. Next, with the terms that you had, los términos que ya tenía su grupo, van a hacer un pequeño manual, ¿verdad? Un manual son las instrucciones. For example, ok, los que tienen setting tables, van a poner one or two instructions that um, waiters have to follow. Tienen que poner, por ejemplo, dos instrucciones que los meseros tienen que seguir, ¿verdad? Instrucción para los meseros. Ok, si alguien tiene el dress code, entonces va a dar instrucciones del dress code, de cómo tienen que vestir. Ok, that is what you have to do based on the one you have. Va a estar basado en, en el que le toca a usted o a su grupo. Do you understand? At least one, por lo menos una instruction, porque sé que se nos acaba el tiempo super fast. Y ya solo tenemos like 10 minutes. Para el index, me mandan una picture, ¿ok? Me mandan la picture de su index y continúan con las instructions in the group. Ok, ready? Questions? No? Okay. You can open the, the invite. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo así? Es, digamos, eh, un cocinero tiene que siempre usar blanco para ver ese su, su hábito de, de presentación. ¿Y que si usa un uniforme? Oh, sí. Oh. El uniforme. Sí. Uh -huh. eh, más que todo el cocinero siempre tiene que usar blanco. Y ya este, dependiendo si tiene diferente color. Por ejemplo, en la empresa, y es tres colores, azul, rojo y blanco. Okay. Entonces, es cocinero blanco y, y no sería... Whiter y whiter, whiter. Whiter y whiter, le digo ah, yo. Es, y color... Eh, a tirsi blue, blanco. No, guay. Guay y, 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 y pantalón es. No pantalón. <risas> teacher, es jinx. Uh, mire, teacher, este, uh -huh. acá vamos a hacer, digamos, enfocado a un restaurante, digamos, el código de vestimenta. Ajá, correcto. Ah, okay. Porque como ese supone que es el manual, ¿verdad? Para que el, el, eh, el ah, empleado. Ah, caballeros, el ah, meseros y visten de tal forma, eh, segundo paso, cocineros, el uniforme será de tal color, o, o identificados con gafete, uh -huh. okay. si es oh, casual o elegante. Correcto, o si tienen que utilizar corbata, Ajá. ahí va el dress code, instrucciones okay. de cómo vestir. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes.
Okay, y, y el index, ¿verdad? De, de ordenar basado en su consideración, no sé si es por orden de la prioridad o si lo van a Alfabético. hacer en, alfabéticamente. Ajá, entonces ahí ustedes ordenan el manual. Eso es lo otro. Pero como el tiempo se va como el agua, no sé, ¿verdad? Si vamos a, a lograr completar todo, pero por lo menos traten de, de hacer por lo menos una instrucción de cada, ¿verdad? Ok. okay. All right. More questions, Mayra? No. Yo veía que todo lo tenían bajo control. Se me apaga este volón, teacher, me cae mal el sonido. Teacher, okay. qué pena. Y le digo yo a Mayra, le quité su oportunidad. Le digo, no, no oía que comenzara, le digo yo. Ajá, ay, fue sí, por eso. Hablar, pero es mudo, teacher. Sí, estaba ahí hablando y no, y no se escuchaba. Ajá. Entonces, por eso me metí Ajá, sí, sí, yo en la parte de ella, teacher. Pero puede, puede quedarse con Mayra hoy al final de la clase. Para que le repita. Ya no te tocó. Yes. Pero sí, yo tampoco la escuché. Pensé que no estaba en la clase y como no cuesta a veces encontrar a alguien, entonces sí. Ajá. Sí, entonces ahí para no okay, tener wow. suspenso, teacher. Así que pues ya rescató el team. Ok. I'm no, going pena. to let you continue. Las voy a dejar okay. ahí que okay. sigan. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, to use. Use, it would be good to use, um, to use, ¿cómo sería transparente? To use. Transparent. Transparent. Mm -hmm. Sorry, transparent. sorry to interrupt and to meddle. Lo siento que me voy a entrometer desde ya. Solo les quería dar una recommendation. Como es un manual, ¿verdad? Son instrucciones. No son tantos recomendaciones y son más como que hay que hacerlo, ¿verdad? Porque así lo pide la company. No necesitan el it would be, sino que solo ah, el verbo. Ah, que son como no son cortes. sugerencias, entonces. Ajá, no es si usted quiere o no, ¿verdad? Ahí la compañía le dice cuáles son sus, sus instructions, lo que usted tiene que seguir. Y cuando es así, solo ponemos el verbo. Tampoco necesitamos un subject. Entonces les quería dar ese, ese feedback. Ah, ok, ok. okay. Uh -huh. y, no es y no es infinitivo tampoco, ¿verdad? Tampoco. Uh -huh. Porque la regla dice que cuando es una instruction, de una sola vez ponemos el verbo y si fuera negativo, se pone don't. Don't. Okay. Y el verbo. Nada de current ni nada de eso. No, ahí no vamos a recomendar. Solo vamos a, a dar la orden o el comando. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Entonces ahí se dice. Ah, ok. Thank you. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Do you have you, questions teacher. for me? No. How many sentences no, do you teacher. have? ¿Cuántas llevan ustedes? Dos. Two. Ok. Ok, good. Los voy a dejar entonces ahí que sigan. See you in one moment. The counting the wine in a... The wine. In a... Until ¿Es la correcta, teacher? Reach the right... Hello. Yes, I'm, I'm uh, reading in this moment. The counting the, the wine... Mission. The counting the wine until the wheel reach, reaches alcanzar, ¿verdad? Yes. No. Uh -huh. The counting the wine until we reach the right mission. Until yes. we reach the right mission. Entonces ahora solo nos falta ordenar, ordenar el, el index. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Thank you. Only two changes, Galileo. Slowly. Yeah. O, o no sé si quiere decir bajo yes, yes. o era no, lento. Slowly, slowly. lento. De la S. S. And the can't. Vamos a usar el verbo en su forma base. Entonces, the can't, the wine. Mm -hmm. Can't, así. Okay. O solo the can't. The, hold on. Solo quiero asegurarme de la I. Creo que sí la lleva. The can't. Yes, the can't. Con la I. At the end. 
She can't. She can't the wine. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, yeah. You're missing the index. That is the yeah. last part. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Um, questions? Yes. More questions for me? No, no. I like no. this. I like it because okay. uh, we, we are taking a concept, a, a short concept to explain mm -hmm. everything. Simple and clear. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you in one moment. Bye bye. Okay. Hello. Qué delicado se ven, están todos ahí analizando toda la info. How are you? Al baño. Ahí. Creo que están pensando bastante. Invent. Invent. Okay. And how many instructions do you have? ¿Cuántas llevan? One instruction. One instruction. Sí, one instruction. ¿Y qué será que no no nos alcanza el tiempo? Ah, sorry. <laughs> we, sorry. We are very slow. No. Teacher. Está, quizá yo mucho trabajo le estoy. Yes, María Concepción. Este gorro de cocina sería chef hat. Yes, yes. If I'm not mistaken, that's the term, María Concepción. Perdón, teacher. If I'm not mistaken, si no estoy eh, incorrecto en lo malo, sí. Yeah, that's the term. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Well, you still have a few seconds. Okay. I'll see you in the other room in one moment. Hello. Welcome back. Time is over, right? We ran out of time. So, okay, so please send me the pictures and send me the instructions in the group and I will continue there. Galileo Teacher. and Arnoldo, I, I saw yours. Uh -huh. Only one only one question. Yes. The index is in an, in an alphabetic order or in a process order? You decide. Uh -huh. That one is based on you. If you want to do it in a in an alphabetical way, you do it like that, but it's about priorities, you choose, because there are different okay, ways to, to make them. Okay, guys, I'm going to take the attendance and remember to send me the info in the group and I'm going to read it there. Remember guys that you have the midterm test for this week. Se recuerdan que esta semana si hay que hacer el midterm test y terminar sus tareas. Hoy sí, ya las pueden ir completando. Ana, do you Michelle, have a comment? Y el, que, el que mandé yo que estaban de las dos preguntas que estaban malas y pudieron arreglar en la plataforma. Let me check porque ahorita no me recuerdo, pero Ay. voy a revisar. Me las envió a mí en privado. Eh, ah, sí. ok. Voy a revisar luego de la clase, Ana, y yo le, le mando ahí un, okay. un text. Ok. Ok, sí. guys. So, really quick. Ana Beatriz. Present. Lili Reyes, Lilian Reyes. Present. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present teacher, aquí estoy. Elizabeth Martinez, ok, Brian. Eh, José Arnoldo. José Galileo. Present. Okay. José Jonathan. Present. José Rodrigo. Present. Juan Carlos. Present. Laura Carolina. Present. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. I'm here. Mayra Moreno. Present. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here. Thank you. Omar Arnulfo. Uh, present. Francisco Omar Gomez. Francisco. Sorry. Oh, ya empecé. No. Omar. Oscar. Oscar Arnulfo. Saira Marlene, Wendy Maribel, thank you, and Jenny Santos. Es para no perder la, la tradición. Okay, everyone. Sweet dreams. I'm going to say with night, Jonathan. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Bye.
Bye. Aquí está Batista, ya me voy. <laughs> okay, Arnoldo. Bye bye. Hi, Jonathan. How are you doing? Hi, Miss. How is your health? Are you feeling better? Yes, I a little. A little better. Yes, I I somebody told me you were feeling sick. Me mencionaron que había estado algo enfermito. And that yes. is why. Oh, in your yes. voice, creo que también yo lo escuché un día, que casi no sí. podía hablar. Sí, de la, la y gripe. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's terrible to study, así ni, ni ganas dan, ni se siente sí. uno para, para estar ahí sí. estudiando. Sí, ah, okay. yo estaba. <laughs> but it's good to have you back, qué bueno que ya está sí. mejor. So, yes. Jonathan, do you need help? No sé si habrá algún tema que no pudo acompañarnos en esa ocasión y no le quedó muy claro or I don't know pues, something uh -huh. um, revisando las clases en, en, en el en el en el, modo, en el en la plataforma uh -huh. uh, ya ya completé básicamente eh, las tareas solo tengo dos problemas con dos pero ayer las estuvimos viendo que es el 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 Guden, Wooden, cuando se usa Wooden, uh -huh. las únicas dos que me estaban dando problemas. Uh -huh. oh, pero ya, 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 ya las vimos y eso es lo único que, que, en que tenía. En oh, Yes, ya hay um, review de de the class and I I think that I understand. I'm glad to hear that. Yes, you are very intelligent and you get everything very fast. The structures, the sentences that you send, I can see that you that you understand the info. So is there something you would like to check or do you want to just practice pronunciation? Or do you want to practice uh, I, conversation? I prefer uh, practice pronunciation because it's, it's more difficult for me. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. And we can read the article, the article that we read yesterday. We can practice with okay. that one again. I'm just going to look for it. Let me find it. Uh, Okay, I'm going to share the screen. And, okay, I'm going to listen to you and I'm going to help you if it's necessary. Okay, so Jonathan, okay. can you read Emma's, Emma's part to start with? Okay, my family, um, My family and I moved to the United States last month, and our friend tell us that we should leave a tip when we eat at a restaurant. How much money should we leave for the waiter or waiters after we finish our meal? Should we leave a tip in all kind of restaurant, even fast food restaurant? And if we don't like the service, it is really necessary to leave a tip. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It sounds very well. Only two words. Okay. okay. Um, moved. That is the, moved. the word. Moved. Yes. Moved. Should. Moved. Should. Sure. Uh -huh. The L Should. is silent, Jonathan. We don't. We don't oh. say that one. Okay. okay. Can you read? The next, the next paragraph. Okay. Michael. Mm -hmm. My friend and I want to open a restaurant. My friend Chris is going to be the waiter, then he's going to be the cashier, and I am going to, to be the chef. We want to open the restaurant close to the college where we study. Our clients say that they are always hungry. 
Can you give us any advice about the kind of atmosphere the restaurant should have and the kind of food we should have on the menu? And do you think opening a restaurant is a good idea? Yes, uh -huh. very well. Only one, one word in that part. Cashier. Cashier. Uh -huh. That's the right way to say it. Cashier. Okay, now let's try with the one here. Can you see it? Yes. Um, I live right next to the next to a restaurant and I am one of their best customer. I usually eat diner there three or four times a week. I enjoy eating their but I think I spend too too much money. And I think some of the food I order like pizza and hamburger isn't very healthy. On the other hand, I am too tired to cook up after I come home from work. That advice can you give me? Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds well. Just can you repeat the one here? Would you say it again? Diner. Dinner. Dinner. Uh -huh. Dinner. Dinner. Dining. Hay una que sí es dining, pero es así. Dining. Uh -huh. Pero así como va ahí, es dinner. Uh -huh. Dining and dinner. Okay, and this one, can you say it again, Jonathan? Healthy, healthy. Healthy, healthy. Healthy. Ajá, hay que hacer el, t, el TH sound. Si se recuerda, como el TH es como que usted quiere hacer una T, pero no la termina de, de como entonar. Porque pone como su, así. Es como que ponemos la lengua um, que topa a sus dientes frontales. Ese es el TH. Es como healthy. Ajá. Ajá. That's the pronunciation. Healthy. Y eso es que va así, ¿verdad? Con, con thousand, think, ¿verdad? Entonces, va así la lengua. Ajá. Thousand, okay. think. Porque si yo digo thousand, no sé si logra escuchar la diferencia. Thousand, think. Ahora, thousand, think. Es una entonación diferente. ¿verdad? Si yo hago la T literalmente y si yo hago el TH, el TH sound. Ajá, but just dinner and healthy. Dinner, healthy. Correct. Ok, and the terms. Can you read the terms in the in this manual, Jonathan? Sorry. Could you read these terms that you see here? Read. Uh, okay. Uh, sharing a table. Decaying wine. Requesting a shift change. Following the schedule, addressing kitchen personnel, getting to know the menu, dress code, addressing customer, about tips and tax, prevention of accident and safety. Mm -hmm. Okay, it sounds very well. Just this one, schedule. Schedule, schedule. 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 La S. Aha, uh -huh. así. Get Sounds to. like that. Yeah, it's a kind of difficult word because the way you say it is different than the way you see it. So it, that is why it's sometimes complicated. Okay, all right. Well, I hope it helped you a little bit at least. But continue. I know, Jonathan, that it's difficult sometimes when you're sick, but I'm glad. I'm glad that you always try to be in the classes. Okay, Do you, you have any other questions before we go? No, anything. No. Okay. See you tomorrow, Jonathan. See you, bye, -bye. Sweet dreams. Bye.